All right. It is that time for some Monday morning motivation. And uh, the theme for motivation this week is what lane are you driving in? So when I started this business and uh, I was getting, you know, into speaking full time, I was listening to a lot of speaking coaches and, um, you know, speakers bureaus and, you know, just trying to figure out what was going on in the speaking world. And what I kept hearing was pick a lane, pick a lane, like one lane, pick one lane and drive in that lane. You know, if you're going to teach leadership and speak on leadership, speak on leadership, going to do sales, sales, customer service and experience, do that, but pick one. I didn't really like that. <laughs> like, I'm not good at driving in one lane. I had too many lanes. Like I, I, I like having so many different opportunities and I like talking about leadership and sales and sales leadership and customer experience and sales and customer experience. And, you know, I also like to talk about employee development and hiring practices so yes, I kind of had to tell myself that I was going to make them all kind of be one big lane because everybody told me I had to be in one lane. Now, there's some problems with that, I think, just for me personally. I mean, I see the benefit, I understand, and you get known as that one person. But frankly, to me, that's kind of boring. I like a little more variety. But I also thought that you know, if I'm going to do what I love, I'm going to have it be something that has abundance. So I just decided to make my lane bigger, <laughs> still kind of driving in that lane, but drove in that lane. And, you know, and I really then, you know, really was driving my business down that road of just speaking and training. Then something happened, COVID now, all of a sudden, there is a problem. There was road construction ahead, <laughs> and this was like an automatic stop. So we've got a, you know, not a rolling slowdown. We came to a better throw on the brakes right now, or we're going to have a, you know, massive car, a car pile up here. And so with that, you know, now I'm like, well, what's happened to my lane? My lane used to be open for speaking and training. Now that lane seems to be closed, at least the way it used to be. The freeway I was driving on <laughs> definitely was rough. And I had to get off on the off ramp and I had to go drive on that, you know, dusty, bumpy road along the side of the freeway, trying to get a glimpse of where my lane was. And so along those uh, first couple months of, you know, COVID and lockdown and planes not flying and conferences canceled, speaking gigs gone virtual, I started to to question my lane again and ask myself, you know, am I in the right lane or do I need some other lanes? Do I need to have more lanes available to me? And so what that did for my business and for what we're doing here at Shock Your Potential and also with our sister company, Kukua Biz, is it gave us new lanes to look at. And so we started thinking about, well, if we really want to accomplish some great things, we can do that through many different lanes. And I'm just refusing to go back to one lane, I guess is what I'm saying. So, you know, why is this my morning motivation for this week? Why am I thinking about this? Because the, you know, when you hit that roadblock, you hit that traffic jam, you hit that detour, it's really easy to question the lane you were driving in. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I think there's a lot of people who do really well driving in that one lane. But my challenge to you is this, what lane are you driving in? Whether it's for your business, whether it's for your career, whether it's for your dream goals, or maybe planning ahead for retirement, what lane are you driving in? Or are you weaving back and forth between lanes? Are you like me? You want multiple lanes, you want multiple freeways to drive on. But the reason I want you to think about it this week is that we have great opportunity now. We see that it, wonderful things are happening. We're starting to see people be vaccinated. We're seeing businesses open up again. We're seeing opportunity present itself or maybe it was detoured or shut down or shuttered for a little bit. Maybe that road was really, really bumpy and now it's starting to smooth out. And as you think about your lane, I would challenge you to talk to other people about your lane or the lanes you were in, or the lanes you want to be in, and get people dialoguing about their lanes as well. Let's start to open up this freeway. Let's start to open up our opportunity and our driving, our driving potential so that we can see where we can go together. 
So as you think about this, what I would encourage you is in the in the comments section, tell me a little bit about your lane. What lane are you driving in? Are you driving towards your dream career? Are you making a complete change and you're a little nervous about it? Are you opening up a business? Are you closing a business? Are you starting something brand new? What lane are you in? And then we'll start to talk about what the speed limits are. <laughs> We'll start to look for road signs along the way. But the reason I want to challenge you this is to think about how we often drive in lanes that we think we're supposed to drive in, or it's been expected of us, or it's been safe to drive in that lane. And much like getting on the Audubon where you can drive faster and a little differently, there are opportunities for all of us right now, as long as we're willing to get in that car, switch lanes, drive new freeways and really try to shock our own potential. Have a great week, everybody. Mm -hmm.